And what do you have to say regarding this laborers who have just walking out and uh, they want to reach their destination? I I feel very sad. I sympathize with those people, and those laborers and work workers migrated from other states to other states are the people who are building to the growth of the state. See, if Bangalore. For the growth of Bangalore city, all these people who have come and migrated and staying here are the people who have who are working for it. Maybe it is for their food, maybe it is for their money or uh, labor. But then their effort is there. Today, if they all are going back, they are having problem. Then the growth of the city will go down. The country will go down. I think what they are giving only package. The government is not giving them vehicles to move. They are not giving transportation. So I think this is not the way to handle it. They should have been. They should have given proper uh, uh, transport to reach to their place. Then again, give them transport to come back, because they need to come back here to develop and grow everywhere. Delhi, Bombay, Hyderabad, Chennai. I think the handling is not done properly by government. The tenants, they are paying rent. Many don't go work. Now, rents are people have to pay. Some people are living out of that rent. Some people have to pay rent to live. So this we have to understand where, which rent, how it has to be, or else government has to come in and uh, tell, reduce little. They have to help. See now, if work is not there, if it continues, now it is okay. One month, two month, people can manage. If it goes further, then I think it is going to be a big issue for us, because people for see the man who has given his house on rent, his living will be that rent. So we have to understand that also. It is not that okay only who has to pay rent. So rent people don't pay means that doesn't end the responsibility of the government. It has to see both the side. See now bank. Somebody has put an FD in bank for interest and he is living out of that interest. Then the bank says I will not pay. I'll give you only what you have done means that is not fair. So we have to look at both the sides and uh, maybe because who is taking, who is given. Both has to be balanced and done, which is very important. I think that will have to be taken care. Of. Government's responsibility is very much more, where they they are not doing whatever up to what the level they are supposed to. Their commitments are not being fulfilled. Their announcements are not coming practically and reaching the people. So, what exactly do you want the government to do now? No, no. See, even food. If you give five kg rice in BPL card holder, is that enough? One kg dal is enough. I'm giving kits to them, which will come for 15, 20 days. They're telling I don't have gas. Who will give them money for gas to cook and eat? Can they eat raw? See, the issues are now. Government is not talking about it. What did yesterday Prime Minister speak? Did you understand? He spoke. What did he speak about? Did he speak about the common man? Did he sp speak about the problem? What we are facing on the ground? No, that he is talking 20 lakh crore. Who is bothered about it? What is what is the message he conveyed in yesterday's his uh, thing? What we have to grow? We have to yes, we are all working hard today because of coronavirus. We are not able to come out. Other nobody stood for uh, foot in the line anywhere. So the situation is like that. So the government needs to understand that and do their part. See, they have to see they have to do packages where it will help people fully, not part. I think the government is not looking at it, and the government is losing its ground, and they have no experience of handling crisis. They have no experience of handling crisis. They should sit with opposition party and discuss what all they can do. There are good economists in our country. They should call all of them, think tankers, and sit down. See, nobody is a superman in anything. So the, they can call, sit, discuss. We can give our views. We can also tell what we need. And we are see, our prime minister doesn't have a family. So he doesn't know about the problem what we face in a day to day with the family, people living together. How they have to be taken care, how they have to be fed. The poor man, you ask somebody on the road, he will tell his problem. You understand out of that? He is just giving five kg rice, one kg dal, or giving one half liter milk, or some hundred rupees to five hundred rupees. Is this enough? So this has to be really understood, and then they have to come. So only if the prime minister is going to declare it, that won't help. You call all the leaders, all the parties, sit down, talk, discuss. The prime minister should come to the media also and discuss with media what what you are asking. See, I am coming in front of you. Can you talk to prime minister? Ask any question. Is it possible in our country today? Please imagine. We are, we are in a democratic country. Why is it the prime minister not coming and talking to people? Why is he not addressing the media? 
So what uh, message do you have for our viewers in this lockdown crisis? Please take care of yourself which is very important. All masjid, temple, churches are all closed. Schools are closed. We saw the wine shop and bars being open and people are standing in court two, three kilometers to just buy the liquor. It was very, I mean, I was shocked by that. I, I never expected that it could go to that level. We have never seen such big queues near the, for the groceries. No, grocery also they didn't. No, nowhere, even hospitals they didn't go. 40, 50 days people didn't go to hospital, so I thought they will rush to hospital. Headache, that ache, this pain and all, nobody, they all rush to the wine shop. So I feel uh, we have to realize that, see, we, we need to become human beings, work on that, build good relationship between people and the time of crisis we have to help each other. Who you are is not important. How you can be useful to the other man is important. Help each other. Caste religion is individual. It is personal. Don't bring it in public. Whichever faith you are, your faith will save you. You believe in whoever you want, your faith will save you. Don't dispute with that. Leave it to each individual. Whatever he wants, he will do. Don't try to bring in religion, caste, language, region. Be good human beings. In India, we are all Indians. And India belongs to every one of us. And let us live together as brothers and sisters. Keep social distancing and keep washing your hands. Take all the precautions possible. Don't uh, leave even a single one. Thank, Thank you. you for being with us. This is Zulfi along with cameraman Ajit. Aapki Jai Hind.